Hello everyone and welcome back. Here is a quick video on how we created our table that we have used in our previous video for our dining table. Our table of choice is the flow table designed by Artisan and after looking at different images this table have a unique shape or a structure that can be actually interesting to model it and texture it and use it inside Unreal Engine. So we will start by adding a simple vertex into our origin and then extrude this on the x-axis after selecting the vertex by 0.026 centimeters and then select that edge and if you look at the image here you can see that this face goes up and narrow at the end so we will extrude this by 70 centimeters and select this vertex and push it back in let's say for example by minus 0 one six and then select this edge go to the front view and use the spin tool bring the 3d cursor on this side selecting the y-axis and let's create this arch and set it to minus 90 degree now we will use our offset add-on that we have used in our early tutorial of this project We'll add a link in the description just in case you missed that video. So I'm going to select all the edges by pressing Alt and left click and Ctrl E will bring the offset extrude to the inside. And the key point about this add-on is that it extrudes all the vertex equally. So let's set a value for example to minus 0.025 for example. A bit narrow so let's make it 0.022 for example now i'm gonna push this edge inside because if you look at the image here this is going inside a little bit on the y-axis let's find a value for example by 0.04 for example and then let's make a copy of this on the y-axis then scale it on the X axis, press minus one to mirror it. Let's snap it back over here and let's bring that point over this side, over this corner of the grid and let's rotate it, let's say for example, around 85 degrees. All right, so let's select both of these shape and control J to mirror them. And now we want to connect all these faces together on both sides. A very useful technique can be used here is that select the first and the last two edges, connect them using control using F and then selecting all the edges by pressing Alt and left click, control F, grid fill and it will fill the remaining part. Same on this side as well. So. F to connect the first and the last edges and then select all the remaining edges control F and that's it all right so before we start with the remaining part of the table I want to unwrap this as I'm gonna mirror this later on so I want to have our unwrap I'm gonna create an edge over here and mark this as a seam and go to the UV editing create a new image 4k resolution let's call this for example table select all the faces and then hit you unwrap it now now we will adjust the direction later on when we have all the other part of the legs Okay, so now we want to mirror this on the table base. So we need to have the base first to find the, the center point of that table. So first let's put this 3D cursor back to its origin, add a single vertex, and based on the dimension provided by Artson, this table comes in different dimension. I'm going to use this one, 180 by 90. So I'm going to extrude our vertex on the x-axis by 180 
and on the y-axis by 90 centimeters 0.9 and back again minus 1.8 select the remaining two vertex F select all F again and now we need to define the center point of this table so I'm gonna select these two vertex and use the BDT to give us the center location between these two points and then if you go here at this located points just make sure you have the value to 50 and press over here and now we have our 3d cursor in the middle you don't need this anymore now it's important also to apply our transforms location rotation scale and then back again set the origin to the 3d cursor this will help you avoid any problem with the mirror modifier now we want to mirror it on the x and y so now that we have applied the mirror modifier let's extrude these faces on both sides so i'm going to select this edge up and then extrude it on the x-axis make sure that the clipping is on and the same goes for the other side as well the y-axis all right let's apply our mirror modifier and then select the upper edges by left click with the alt pressed ctrl f grid fill and the same goes for the down part ctrl f the grid fill now if you look at the image reference you can see now that we have almost the exact shape of this leg it's a little bit wider here with the arch it's our it's my bad actually when i created the arch with the spin tool it should be wider but anyway this is the basic idea of that table let's now go to the unwrap and unwrap the remaining part of the table so i'm gonna start by selecting all the legs and separate them from the main table part from the top of the table press p separate the same goes here So these are the four legs of the table. I'm gonna load our texture over here so we understand which direction we want. Now on the image reference it appears that it has a vertical direction of that wood texture. So let's select all the table base part and scale them down and rotate them 90 degrees into this direction. So now let's unwrap the rest of this table I'm gonna use the smart UVs for this one and push it, push it on this side so now if we select all the unwrap you can see now that this is now enough for us and we can export it to Quixel Mixer to start adding more detailed texture. So after loading the table inside Quixel Mixer, we basically just added a simple texture that we have used inside Blender, where we have set the placement to tiring and found the closest amount of repetition over the X and Y. So if you want to increase the normals to make the details a bit more visible, you can do that as well. But I'm going to adjust it and keep it to 0.7. Then I've added also the scratched material, which have given us a little bit of details on top of the base leg over here, as you can see and made the scratches more on the bottom of that. We've used basically the, the curvature modifier as a mask on top of the material, the same way we did the chair as well. So after that, I'm gonna export the texture into 4K and use it inside Unreal Engine. So here is the final result after importing this 
into Unreal Engine also using Datasmith and here is a little bit of a preview in real time using an Xbox controller that can help you also create a smooth movements around your scene inside Unreal Engine. So I hope you guys found this interesting as it also demonstrates how we can analyze and utilize the power of Blender modeling techniques to deliver something really interesting inside Unreal Engine that will help you deliver more interesting result to your ArcVis project. So if you have any question, please share it down in the comments and uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.